What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be learning how to do a travel map effect inside Resolve 16 with no plugins required. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I do weekly tutorials, tips, tricks, and recently I've been diving into Resolve 16, breaking down so many things that are inside of it. So if you have not already, click that subscribe button, tag along, you will not be disappointed. This tutorial came about by a request from one of my subscribers, so drop a comment below and some tutorials you guys wanna see coming out. He wants to have some travel map animation going on, and I think it's a great idea. So we're gonna dive inside Resolve 16, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So you can see here, I created this animation that if I was going from Kansas City through Indianapolis all the way to Washington, this would be the way I would go. This would be my route. So if I wanted to drop this in a video, it would kind of spice it up. It would get you from point A to point B really fast without having to shoot that whole time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start completely fresh. We're gonna go down and hit new fusion composition. We're gonna make this however long you want. Let's say eight seconds is good. We'll go ahead and name this to map effect 24 frames is fine i do suggest doing whatever frame rate your project is so if it's in 60 or 30 whatever that is i would do that we're going to hit create we're going to double click on it and it's going to bring us inside fusion now there are a few things you're going to need i did go ahead and select a map image from google earth um, I grabbed a few stills off of Google of just the cities I was gonna go to. Nothing special, they don't have to be super high res because they're gonna be pretty small. So we're gonna grab our first image, which is a map. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click off of that. We're gonna add a background node. We're gonna create the color that we want. I'm just gonna do kind of a darker red. And we're also gonna click a merge node. We're gonna bring that merge node down here. I'm gonna break that real quick. We're gonna add the map to the back and we're gonna add the red to the top. We're gonna grab this node, bring it to the top, drop it, let it go. Now I can see the background image is not quite the size I need. So what we're gonna do is while clicking on the background image, I'm gonna click right here to the transform node. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna size this up just to cover the whole thing right there. Then we're gonna click off of those. I'm gonna hit shift space and I'm gonna look for a mask and we're gonna grab the mask paint. We're gonna add it. We're gonna grab the merge, connect it, and now you can see there is no image whatsoever underneath it. So what we're gonna do here is go up to the polyline stroke, click on that. We're gonna pick our spot that we wanna start. I'm gonna start in Kansas City. I'm just gonna quickly draw what I think looks good, not going too crazy. After I draw this, I go over here to the brush controls and I kind of size it down just a little bit because that's a, that's a little crazy for us. You can pick the size that you want. I just like going not crazy overboard, but the road already looks like. Then we're gonna go down to the stroke controls. We're gonna go, let's say, I don't know, 115, let's do 130 frames in. We're gonna drop a keyframe on the right end right there and you can see it dropped it in because we got that little white check mark we're going to scoot all the way to the back and we're going to take this and we're going to drag it all the way to the end and you can see it dropped another keyframe because we already set one at the beginning now if we play it through it's going to draw it on you can kind of see if you like the speed of it if it needs to be slowed down faster you can adjust that by just hitting command z going back taking away the keyframes and speeding it up however you want now I can see that might be a little slow, so what I'm gonna do is hit Command Z, Command Z, Command Z, until we get to the 130, Command Z again. I'm gonna scoot over to maybe 95 frames, and now I'm gonna drop a keyframe, do the same thing again, scroll to the front, and drop it there. Yeah, I like that speed a lot better. It's quicker, it doesn't draw out too long. Now that that's done, we're gonna grab our merge, we're gonna connect it to our merge out. We're gonna drop that up, make sure everything's good. Next, we're gonna grab our Kansas City node, we're gonna drop it in, and we are going to hit a transform node. After we have our transform node, we're gonna add a merge node. We're gonna hit shift and our mouse at the same time, and we're gonna drag it in. Then we are gonna connect our transform node right to it. With the transform node selected, I'm gonna kinda of drag this over where I think is good. We're gonna size it down. I wouldn't get too crazy. We'll just drop it right there. Just 
gonna kind of clean that up a little bit. Then what I'm gonna do is go maybe six frames in, I'm gonna hit a keyframe on size, and then I'm gonna go back to maybe two, and I'm gonna bring the size all the way down. What I'm gonna do is go the eight frames in, I'm gonna add a keyframe on the size that it's at, I'm gonna go over one, two frames, I'm gonna size it up just a little bit. Now you can see it kind of hops up on the screen. The last thing we're gonna to do to it is with the image selected, we're gonna hit shift space. We're gonna look for shadow. We're gonna add that. We're gonna go over here to the softness. We're gonna dial that up a little bit. We're gonna make the light distance a little bit further. And then we're gonna grab the alpha and we're gonna kind of just dial it back just a little bit. Maybe bring up the softness a little bit more just so there's a little shadow cast. And then we can click on this light position and we can move this to find a spot that we like it. I think that's pretty good right there. And now you can see it has a nice little shadow just to pop it off there, make it a little bit more 3D. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the shadow, transform and merge, control C, click off of it, control V, holding shift. We're gonna connect it to the merge. We're gonna do the same thing over here, control V, holding shift, connect to the merge, boom. Then we're gonna grab our Indianapolis, we're gonna drop it above here, and we're gonna grab our Washington, and we're gonna drop it here. I'm gonna connect Indianapolis. You can see it dropped it over here in the side. I'm gonna go to the transform, I'm gonna go up here to the very top right corner, and I am gonna just refresh everything, recheck everything. I'm gonna scroll to where I think is a good spot, right there should be good. I'm gonna click on the transform, size it down. Scoot it over to where I think is good. Drop a keyframe, go back one, two, three frames. Drop the sizing. Go over two frames, maybe drop it up. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. You kind of just go up and down in size and find it to where it pops on is good for you. Yeah, that'll work. We're gonna go all the way to the end where Washington is. I think that's good. We're gonna do the same thing, connect it to the shadow node, click on the transform, refresh it, size it down, move it over, drop it right there. We're gonna go back a few frames and we're gonna add a keyframe. We're gonna go one, two, size it down. We'll go one, two, three, four, size it up. One, two, three size it down, one, two, we'll size it back up. And that looks pretty good. You can see it's really easy to do this because you're just copying the shadow, the transform, and the merge node, and it's really kind of spicing up that map. It's showing where you are, maybe the next state you're going to, and where you're ending up at. And that's how you do a very clean and simple map effect inside Resolve 16. That's it for me today, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop a comment below on some other videos you want to see coming out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'm out.